Hey Saints, it's Sister with a Testimony. I was um, just up here in Texarkana. I rode by uh, where they have the church under the bridge. And I seen this empty shopping basket. Cart, basket, whatever you want to call it. And I thought, well that seems kind of strange to see a empty cart sitting out in the almost in the middle of a field. And uh, I had to stop. <laughs> like, you know, there's a sermon in there somewhere. Have y'all ever thought about the fact that a shopping buggy, a shopping cart, sitting out in the middle of a grassy field, kind of is out of place, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a few dead leaves in it. But somebody had to push this cart out here, didn't they? I mean, look, th this place is basically um, abandoned. Nobody's here. You know, they had to... Uh, uh, congregation here earlier and cars were parked and everything and somebody had to have pushed this shopping cart uh, over here it might have had stuff in it but they abandoned it this is an abandoned shopping cart normally you'd see these on concrete in a shopping center okay well guys this is obviously not a shopping center even though I have free water free prayer you know what I have freely received I will freely give so that means water and prayer because the water is the living water coming out of my belly the prayer um, you know basically puts feet to that simple analogy right there that living water is flowing freely um, I'm going to give freely what I've received freely which is the washing of the water of the word and then that comes out it comes out of me as prayer because I have influence with the almighty Elohim Yahuwah the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob and he gave me free water he taught me how to pray with effectiveness effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much am I bragging on me no I'm bragging on Jesus living in me and through me so you can imagine when I come over here and I see this empty cart I'm like that's like a lot of people today Saints they're empty they're out of place this shopping basket the shopping cart is supposed to be in a shopping center it was designed not to be on grass it was designed to be on concrete or pavement it was designed to hold items that you're gonna purchase not purchase um, you know stuff and uh, put it in the bag and the, I'm sorry in the buggy and then drive it home um, obviously this shopping cart has been stolen and um, maybe just maybe whoever was pushing it got convicted uh, and decided you know I stole the shopping cart I'm just gonna leave it at church under the bridge it's kind of cool if you think about it um, either that or it wouldn't roll anymore I didn't check the wheels out but I figure if it's still rolling uh-huh see it it rolls see I'm just thinking that maybe maybe somebody got convicted at church under the bridge and they thought you know I stole this basket it's empty I'll just get my stuff out of it and nobody will be the wiser but you know what Saints a lot of people are the same way they're empty shopping carts they're empty baskets and they should be in the right place so that they can be used the way that they were designed. A lot of people have had their development stolen by destiny thieves, destiny pirates, destiny devourers. Saints, I just want to encourage you today, if you feel like you're an empty shopping basket and you're out of place and you're in the wrong place and you just can't, um, move anymore and you don't have any motivation you don't have any reason to be this buggy's just been abandoned maybe you feel like you've been abandoned the Lord says I have not abandoned you I designed you for a specific purpose my child and just as a shopping cart sitting in the middle of a grassy field is out of place I'm calling you to that right place with me and my child if you will obey me and you will listen to me I will fill you I will fill you with free living water 
and I will cause you to cry out to me in prayer. And when you seek me in prayer and you believe that you have found me, I will hear you and I will listen to you when you are broken and you are contrite and you humble yourself before me, my child. I will give you freely of the washing of the water of the word. And as you pray, my child, I will restore what the canker worm has. I, myself, the Lord, will replace what the canker worm has stolen from you, my child. You will no longer be an empty basket in the middle of a field. I will fill you to overflowing and I will place you in the position that I have designed you to be and I will cause you to be utilized in that place. No longer will your wheels mire up in the muck and the mud and the grass because I designed you with a specific purpose in mind, my child. Do not feel like this abandoned shopping cart. Know that I love you. I have called you for such a time as this. And no longer will the enemy steal your purpose. No longer will the enemy push you around. No longer will the enemy cause you to feel abandoned thrown away like yesterday's garbage. I made you to be beautiful. I made you. I designed you. I called you. And just as this basket has a designer, it has a builder, it has a manufacturer. I am your designer. I am the builder. I am the manufacturer. And I'm calling you out of the darkness into the light that you might be no longer abandoned, destitute, without hope, and empty. For I myself, my child, will fill you with the water, and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Freely you have received, my child, freely give. And I will cause the living water to flow out of your belly rivers of living water and you too will pray you too will have great influence with me my child and you will freely give what you have freely received saints a sister with a testimony um, like I said I seen this basket and it's like oh my gosh what is that basket doing out here sitting alone somebody had to push it here and abandon it the Lord says I love you God bless you my friends, I love you. Freely I've received, freely I give. The Lord has not abandoned you. He has not forgotten you. I need you to hear me today. I am born of supernatural substance. You have been born of supernatural substance. That makes you the boss over your life. And because God has born you of supernatural substance, he is the one that will lead and guide you. And if you allow him to be the boss and cause yourself to realize that you're born of supernatural substance, he'll be in control, he'll lead you, he'll guide you. The steps of a righteous man are ordered of the Lord. Again, it's sister with a testimony in the field. To God be the glory. Oh, to God be the glory. To God be the glory for the things He has done. Thank you for filling me with your spirit, Lord. Let me freely give as I have freely received. And saints, I speak to you. Saints with a testimony. Sisters with a testimony. Soldiers with a testimony. The blood of Jesus speaks greater things than the blood of Satan. The blood of Satan is every sacrifice, every illegitimate curse, every illegitimate wound every illegitimate theft the blood of Jesus speaks greater things than the blood of Satan because he sheds that blood every day illegally without remorse I speak that the blood of Jesus is against you Satan the blood of Jesus speaks greater things than the blood of Abel and it is the blood of Jesus that sets us free reconciles us, restores us fills us fills us 
flows. And I declare and decree this day is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I declare and I decree over you that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. No longer will you be like an abandoned shopping cart in the middle of a field. But you will be filled with the washing of the water of the word, the blood of the lamb. The prayer will come out of you freely. And you will no longer be bound to your flesh, your will, your mind, your emotions, this world, and this world system. I love you. God bless you. It's Sister with a Testimony in the field. I love you. Later.